Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Join me in creating fun and unique bath items. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to recycle bath bomb powder into amazing bath treats. First, an amazing milk bath soak, followed by bubble bath frosting. Simply group your recycled bath bomb powder into alike colors and then sieve them together. I feel guilty wasting anything, food, electric, bath items, even paper. And I always have a lot of bath bomb powder left over. It could be from broken bath bombs to powder left over that I didn't use. So I thought today's tutorial could be about recycling it. Most of this was left over from the last mermaid bath bomb that I did. To view it, hit the icon. Colloidal oatmeal is a cleanser, moisturizer, and remains one of the best all-natural anti-aging treatments. Titanium dioxide turns the water an opaque white. Milk keeps skin hydrated, soft, and moisturized. Kaolin clay cleanses, purifies, and detoxifies skin. Bentonite clay hydrates skin, rids body of toxins, and shrinks pores. Dead Sea Mud tightens and tones skin, reduces wrinkles, and stimulates skin cell turnover. Rasool Clay gently exfoliates, leaving the skin soft and silky smooth. Bath soak isn't complete without salt. I am heavily scenting the salts since I didn't add um, fragrance oil to the powders. For more information on bath salts, hit the icon. By using a filler for the fragrance oil, the salts will not become moist and therefore will remain clump free. Salt is loaded with minerals and nutrients. Salt stimulates circulation and eliminates toxins from skin, eases muscle cramps, relieves stiffness, and promotes relaxation. Rub them together between your hands to evenly coat salts with the scented filler. To test salts, squeeze them together. If they clump, there's too much filler, add more salts. Assemble the layers however you want, pack the cup after each layer, and for diagonal layers, pack the cup at an angle. I added break layers of decorative salt, which are beautiful to look at and beneficial to use. To find out more information on the decorative salts, click the icon. This is the awesome part where you get to be creative and have fun while you're creating your masterpiece. After all of the work, making everything, it's so satisfying to see the final project come to life. Make sure to pack the mix well. You may have to cut a small slit, but place a shrink wrap bag on top of the cup. Pull it tight and hold it in place while heating it with a heat gun. For a clean and finished look, cut off the extra shrink wrap. These are the dry ingredients for the frosting. Sieve them together. Since last time, I have improved and simplified this recipe tremendously. It's very important to mix the hot water and meringue powder together well until after the meringue powder has dissolved. You'll know it's ready when it's white and frothy. Then slowly add the dry ingredients while mixing. Periodically scrape the sides of the bowl. Add 
add fragrance and color if you wish. To get stiff peaks, whip on high approximately 10 minutes. Once you have stiff peaks, you're good to go. Divide frosting for multiple colors. For multicolored swirls of frosting, add a bit of each color to the piping bag. When frosting, be aware of the size of the cup's top. I use the top to the left to approximate the right amount of size of frosting. As I was piping, I was constantly looking at that top. These are the decorations that match this project, but I wouldn't recommend putting them all on one. I'd suggest maybe some eco glitter, some stars, and a few sugar pearls or sprinkles. The bubble bath frosting gets firm on the exterior but not hard and the interior remains soft and crumbly. I just made it so it's not crumbly yet so I just held it under running water. This frosting recipe will not disappoint you. It makes high quality, long lasting, buildable bubbles that I thoroughly enjoyed. The bath soak was lovely as well. If you're not familiar with this item, simply pour it in a warm bath, then steep in the warm relaxing water and soak up all the beneficial ingredients. Thanks for joining me. If you're interested in this project, refer to the description where you'll find helpful tips and the supply list at the bottom. Subscribe now for more creative bath inspiration featuring fresh ideas and fun bath projects. Also, connect with me anytime. I've linked my email, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you make any of my projects, I would love to see pictures. Post them on my Facebook page where I can interact with you.